Hi everyone, it's Muriel. I'm here with a project share and some happy mail that I received. I got my happy mail from Irene. Thank you, Irene. She sent me a package and included in the package was this adorable bunny. Very cute. I'll be putting that downstairs on my coffee table. She also sent to me some milk paint, I believe this is called. It's by Recollection. You can see the three um, colors, white, black, and chocolate. So really... Um, curious on how that looks. She sent me a really cute card and it made the um, clothespin uh, of the week. I usually change my cards out but I do display them until a new one comes and this says um, happy Easter wishes. Very very pretty card so thank you for sending me that. She also sent to me some rings and these will be perfect for um, flower centers so she sent me that one and then this one and then this one. So those are really pretty. So thank you for sending me those. Also included in the box was some candy, which I um, went to the post office this morning. I had some packages to mail and I went ahead and mailed it to my daughter because I stopped eating candy a couple of months ago. So thank you for that. And then she sent me this here, which is some jar jewelry. And I love uh, these um, pieces. I have them uh, throughout my room on several of the jars and you can kind of label exactly what is in the jar and she decorated it with the cute doily book paper and the little um, gem there so thank you for that and I think yes I think that was it so Irene thank you for uh, sending me that uh, happy Easter mail so then I did finish my project share that I um, told you ladies about I'm so excited about it um, I altered a picture frame um, that was gifted to me, I believe, but I can't tell you when. I just don't remember it. I used the paper pad Pacific Cove. This is uh, one of the hot buys that's being sold at Michael's. It's a 48 sheet of some really, really good, heavy um, pattern paper. So um, I use that. Uh, this is probably the paper pad of choice that I'll be using this summer um, because I just plan on being at the beach or at the lake as much as I can this year. Me and my girlfriends, we've already got some dates set to go. So um, this will be the paper pad of choice. And I altered this wooden picture frame um, last night and this morning. Uh, it's a trifold picture frame and I use many of the um, cutouts in the pad. Let's see here. I think I got them. It was one sheet, okay, with all the cute little, I call them tickets, but they're certainly some really colorful cutouts. And then there were this page here of these beautiful flowers that I fussy cut. And then there was a page of um, some bigger uh, journaling spots and um, three by three cards and even some f smaller ones, maybe like a two by two. So I did a lot of that and had fun doing it. Okay, so that's the pad I use. Now the tri-fold wooden um, picture frame, I um, Mod Podge... No, I, first I just gessoed it so that the uh, paint would take and then after the gesso I use some um, acrylic paint vanilla okay and then I began to cover it and I'll show you the sheet that I used to cover it because it's kind of hidden but I used this page here with the beautiful palm trees and the background that looked like um, very distressed wood so I wanted to use that on it. And you can kind of see it kind of poking through here, the palm trees. Um, I used gesso to apply all the paper to it. I also put some on the back. Now this came to me without a backing, meaning like, you know, it's not covered up on the back. So what I'm going to do once I insert the picture, which I haven't done yet, uh, this is going to be the cover. This is just a cutout from the paper um, pad. And I put a, um, what is that called? Uh, accordion, <laughs> we'll call it an accordion flower. And then there are some um, doilies underneath here. And then I uh, apply some Mod Podge to those two 
uh, tickets there. Okay, so the front is, um, I used the Tim Holtz um, die to cut these out. Um, there are some wooden pieces. There is a button from Recollection. I like this because it had the crocheted um, flower on top. Uh, you can see where I fussy cut the flowers. I used some of the new leaves that I bought from Recollection. They just are totally all about um, the beach. They just remind me of their, their burlap. They call burlap embellishments and um, I really like those. I used some of this gold, I guess you can call it um, netting. I've had this for a very long time when I would make scrapbook pages, but you can see you open it up and it's just like fishnet. So I use some of that. Some of it is, you can see, some of it um, is kind of hidden, but I know it's there. And then I place sporadically throughout the front of it the rhinestone stickers from Recollection. There's pink, green, clear, and blue, and they're just kind of placed throughout. I kind of was inspired by um, my Butterfly Kisses uh, on a project that she did that came with some of those from the collection. Um, so that's the front of it, and I just used some of the cutouts. Um, here says beach going that way, set sail, sand, surf, and sun. There is here um, one of the canvas labels from Michael's $2 bin. I found one in here that has uh, a suitcase that says travel, and then I uh, glued a boy and girl wooden vin uh, piece onto the uh, side of it. Excuse me, kind of like out of frame here. So that's the front, and um, then when you open it up, I kind of kept it uh, neutral in terms of I didn't split the papers up, uh, design up. I just used the same design throughout, and it's kind of a water wave look, and then the picture will fit right there. Now, I do plan on embellishing the inside, but I really want to wait for the picture because some of the tags that I have left say different things. You know, I kind of cut a lot of these out. There's one with the bicycle. There's one about the beach. If you are lucky enough to live at the beach, you are lucky enough. And I'm not sure what picture is going to be, and I do want to coincide the picture with these little um, cutouts. And that one says cool refreshment. So I'll be incorporating those on the inside as well as I have a few more of these um, flowers that I made. And I'll be um, putting those on the inside as well. So I'm going to wait until the picture is done. And then I, um, when you look on the back, if you were to open it up, if it's on a coffee table, it's pretty decorated on the back as well. So I thought that came out um, really, really nice. So that's my altered um, tri, tri picture frame that um, I created this morning using this beautiful paper pad by Craftsmith called Pacific Cove. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. And Irene, thank you again for the um, Easter Happy Mail. Bye, everyone.